Good morning, Paul Georgie from Allendale. It's September 15th, uh, Thursday morning, and uh, we start out this morning uh, with some frost uh, numbers here from uh, North Dakota. Uh, we had central uh, uh, Minnesota as low as mid-20s overnight, uh, and as Drew Lerner had been talking about, that we could see some frosts as far south as uh, the uh, into Iowa, uh, we've certainly seen some uh, lows in the uh, the low 30s there uh, between midnight and uh, 5 a.m. this morning when I have seen the data. Uh, we've actually, uh, even in our local area here around uh, northwest of Chicago, uh, we've had uh, frost on the uh, rooftops, frost on the grass uh, overnight. So uh, it did get pretty cold, and they're actually calling for colder temperatures here in our area uh, tonight and into tomorrow morning. Uh, it'll be a question of how the trade reacts to that. I mean, they haven't reacted very positively here or very, very much concerned uh, as we uh, uh, have gone into this time period in the last few days. So uh, don't know if it's a, a big market maker. The, the uh, action by traders and the, the mentality there is that, oh, well, uh, we've got enough corn to go around, enough soybeans to go around right now. Uh, it also presents quality issues that uh, usually are not a positive situation. So uh, uh, for those producers that have gotten uh, crops that damage from it, it uh, definitely is a, a devastating and concerning problem. Uh, over in the uh, uh, export side of things, USDA released export numbers this morning. Trade was looking for 400 to 700,000 tons of corn. Came in at 1.13 uh, million metric tons of corn that was sold. So that certainly is a positive, uh, first positive sign we've seen in exports in a while. The uh, soybeans, 400 to 600 uh, number actually was 352, so that's below the, the range of estimates. And wheat was estimated at 300 to 400, came in 413, so uh, a neutral number there. In the, uh, the overall uh, uh, attitude of the marketplace right now, expecting grain markets to uh, open steady to lower, uh, and most of that pressure is coming off of uh, potential liquidation by uh, funds, uh, comments from uh, floor traders and uh, people that we talk to on a daily basis have suggested that a lot of the selling pressure is coming out of Europe uh, and possibly uh, uh, EU-owned banks that are concerned about uh, their uh, credibility and their uh, ability to pay back this uh, and handle the uh, Greek debt that uh, they've supported here. So uh, in seeing some adjustments there, there's been rumors that some of the couple of the major banks there have decided that they were going to get out of commodity investing completely. And that has seen uh, liquidation and put pressure on a market that from a fundamental perspective should be uh, working its way higher rather than uh, seeing these sharp moves lower on a daily basis. Uh, we did see unemployment numbers uh, come out this morning, uh, initial uh, uh, claims, and it shows that uh, we've got more people unemployed than uh, was expected. So that is, uh, uh, you know, the, the dominating factor is certainly coming from outside influences and uh, negative uh, uh, confidence levels that uh, the trade has that these markets can uh, hold these price levels. And that's certainly putting some pressure on this market. And until we can change that attitude, uh, it will be difficult for the fundamentals to uh, to support this thing as the uh, open interest and uh, long positions uh, reported by the CFTC last Friday, uh, the funds had uh, extremely long positions in corn and soybeans, and um, that is uh, uh, causing probably the dominating factor here in the the direction of the markets here in the short term. In the livestock trade, the uh, cutout values uh, in beef was up 40 cents in choice, down 47 in select. Pork cutout values were up 88 cents. Uh, futures markets are stronger, and mainly because of the uh, China situation. There's been talk that uh, inflation 
for pork especially is continuing to drive pork prices higher and they want to try to control that uh, price rise in order to do that they're going to have to come to the u.s to buy meat uh pork uh would be the initial thought but beef is a, a secondary thought it to be uh, uh shipped to uh, to china that's causing uh strength in the futures market and uh We've seen some uh, some technical action there that uh, is helping drive this market higher. We've got resistance in October cattle at 122, and the uh, uh, hogs in the October contract. We've jumped above some uh, consolidation area, moving average levels, so we're getting some good technical support there. So uh, look for uh, livestock markets to uh, be strong here today and uh, grain markets to start out a little weaker as uh, we see a, uh, potentially uh, some liquidation there. So uh, we think that uh, in the grain markets, for instance, we should have uh, decent support in this uh, corn market around the $7 area. We're right now trading at around $7.20. Uh, initially, uh, support comes in at uh, $7.16, $7.15 area in the December contract. So those are numbers to watch here today. If you got any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call here at Allendale. We'll give you some more details, and uh, we're happy to, happy to uh, help you out and, and answer any questions that you might have. You can give us a call at 800-262-7538. We wish you a very successful trading day, and I'll talk to you tomorrow morning. Thank you.